Welcome to Joey's Tech. You will learn how to create a Python program to find prime numbers in a given range in this video of Joey's Tech. Here I am in my PyCharm ID and in this script, I'll write the program and explain it to you step by step. I recommend you code it along with me because that way you will understand the program better. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Also, if you are new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on these Python programming videos I create for you. Let's start coding the program now. We will begin by writing the main function first. There you go. When we talk about finding the prime numbers in a given range, it becomes necessary to take the lower range and the upper range from the console. Like if we have to find all the prime numbers between 100 and 200, then the user must give 100 as the lower range and 200 as the upper range from the console. So for that, we are going to make use of the input function. We will first declare a variable v underscore lower and after the equals to sign, we are going to make use of the int function. Within its brackets, we'll write the input function within whose brackets we are going to type a message enter the lower range all right we are going to declare another variable now which will be v underscore upper and uh, we will be using similar line of code so for that i am going to copy this line of code and paste it over here and change this lower into upper okay thus the code to accept the lower range and the upper range from the user is complete. Let's write the main logic now. One thing that is clear is we'll make use of the for loop to go through all the numbers that fall in the range specified by the values in v underscore lower and v underscore upper. Therefore, we'll write the code for num in range v underscore lower comma v underscore upper plus one. The for loop is going to run for the range specified by v underscore lower and v underscore upper. Okay. The lowest prime number is 2. So we'll have to check that all the numbers that are taken up in different iterations of the for loop are greater than 1. So we'll write if num is greater than 1. Okay. Now we'll code the main logic to check if a number is prime. For that, we'll write a for loop that runs from two to half of the number which we are checking. So it will be for i in range two comma brackets num divided by two plus one. Now before we proceed with our logic, let's declare and initialize a variable prime underscore switch to zero so it will be prime underscore switch and after the equals to sign we'll write zero all right now if a number of a particular iteration of the for loop which is in this variable now gives remainder as zero after getting divided by any of the numbers between two and half of the number then we can say that the number stored in the variable num is composite and not prime. And if we have found that the number is composite, we will come out of the loop. Also, we will set the prime switch to 1. Therefore, we will write if within brackets num modulo operator i comparison operator 0. So we are checking whether the remainder calculated by dividing the number by any of the numbers between two and half of this number is zero then we'll first set the prime switch to one and then we'll write the code to come out of this inner for loop using the break keyword okay after this inner for loop is over we'll check if the prime switch is zero if it is we declare that the number stored in this variable num is a prime number remember prime switch one is for composite prime switch zero is for prime once we have figured out that the value stored in num is a prime number we are going to append num 
to a list so let's create uh, an empty list over here we will call it prime underscore list this is the syntax to create an empty list all right and over here we are going to check if prime switch is equal to zero in that case we'll append num to this prime list okay i don't know why i have given space over here the final step will be to reset the prime switch to zero because at the start of the next iteration of the for loop we need the prime switch to be zero all right so we are going to write prime underscore switch equals to zero okay if you want to understand more about this logic then you can watch the video in the i button that is specifically about checking if a number is prime or not this completes our code of finding prime numbers in a given range the final line of code of this program will be to print this prime underscore list okay so we are going to make use of the print function and within its brackets we'll pass prime underscore list okay let's run the program and check the output all right the program is asking me to enter the lower range i am interested in finding out the prime numbers between 1 and 100 so let me enter one over here i'm going to enter 100 as the upper range and there you go the program has listed all the prime numbers between 1 and 100 let's find out all the prime numbers between 100 and 200 so i'll uh, write 100 as the lower range and i'll enter 200 as the upper range and there you go these are the prime numbers between 100 and 200 with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning this problem do let me know in the comment section in case of any doubts or any questions like this video share this video tell people about this video i'll see you in the next video of choice tech goodbye and take very good care of yourself